Hello, Nyeong. Welcome back to Learn Mong with Lisa. I am Lisa. Google Mei Huo Lisa. This week we are going to learn about pronouns. Pronouns in Hmong is actually rather simple and we are gender neutral. So I will explain in a little bit. To say I, me, myself, my is very simple. It is gu, gu. Think of it as a K and a little bit of a G. Uh, very similar to the Korean K or G. So gu, gu is I, me, myself, and my. You, singular and plural. So you singular would just be go, go, go. We have two plural forms. So there is a you plural for just two people. And then there's a you plural for three, three or more. So you singular again is go. You plural for two would be ne, 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 ne bairachi. Typically, you're asking this to the person who, or people who are there. Um, you wouldn't use ne if they weren't in the room. Um, you're directing uh, the, the question to these two individuals. Therefore, you would say ne. Um, the next word is also you plural, but party of three or more, and that is ne. 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 Same word, different pitch um, and shorter. So ne and ne. So ne norachi. Ne norachi is still the same, but the, the, the meaning is just a little different. It's understood that it's more than two people now. And so if you have three kids who are all eating something at the table, you would say ne norachi instead of ne norachi. Ne is only referring to two people. So that's just a little bit of um, uh, technicality that um, you'll have to pay attention to. We also have gender neutral pronouns. So he, him, his, she, her, hers are all one word, which is nu, nu, nu. It could also mean it, referring to animals. Um, trying to think what else, um, usually animals. For we, the word is be, be, be. Fun fact, it also means the number three. So let's try to use these in a sentence. Gu lumbe huo lisa. Gu lumbe huo lisa. Gunia lumbe huo ki. Gunia lumbe huo ki. Ka bonia gu. Ka bonia gu. Ka lumbe hulija. What is your name? Ka lumbe hulija. Nu. Tu minyo tun dao nu nya luan don do. Tu minyo tun dao nu nya luan don do. Gu tu min tai nu chin ya no fo. Gu tu min tai nu chin ya no fo. So that would be how you would use nu. So lo is usually a group more than two. Ngo is they, them, but pertaining to two people, so a pair of people. 
in using that in a sentence, we would say, Gao chi nye mu gong dao. Gao chi nye mu gong dao. In this case, it most likely is um, understood that we're talking about two specific people. So, go, they do not like to go to school. So, that is it for pronouns. I hope you all learned something new today. And if you have any questions, definitely leave me a comment and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you. Shinji Bye.